Okay, what I'm going to do this week is I'm going to take a shot that I previously took in the studio, uh, put it through its paces in Photoshop and hopefully transform the image into something with a wee bit of finesse. It was a basic studio shoot, but I knew beforehand what I was going to be doing with the images and the edits that you're going to see, I previously edited this image but what I'm going to do now is I'm hopefully going to take you step by step as near as I possibly can to the original way I edited it I've sped up some of the editing just to save time when you're watching this tutorial so if you're familiar with Photoshop you'll be able to work out what I'm doing if not, please feel free to slow it down ever so slightly so that you can see exactly what's happening hopefully you'll get something from this as well and hopefully it maybe inspire a few ideas but first, I need to get ready. Right, now that I'm ready, enjoy. Simple things, eh? I'm learning this video. I'm trying my hardest to learn this video. Enjoy the tutorial. Okay, here we have the original studio shot. After that, I added a black and white adjustment layer just to pull back the saturation and emphasise skin tones with the yellows and the reds. Then I brought in a background layer from another image I had taken. I brought this layer in using Command and J to copy the layer up and then Command and E to merge both layers together. I then used the free transform tool to get it to the aspect ratio and size that I was after for this. Next I added a Gaussian blur to provide shallow depth of field effect. And to emphasise the shallow depth of field I added mist using a brush. Again Gaussian blur dropped to opacity right back. It just emphasises the depth of the image for me. Again, repeat this step with the mist brush, Gaussian blur and opacity, but this time not so much of the effect to give density to the mist and provide a further depth of field. Next, I added a colour glow to the image using the brush tool and select a colour from the sun holding down ALT and adjust to a size that suits using free transform. Next process was to add more depth to the image by adding the dust particles using a brush and then scaling to suit using the free transform tool. To easily mask this from behind the soldier, I copied up the mask from another layer holding ALT and dragging to the intended layer. Next I combined all layers together, shift alt command E and added an LUT, in this case futuristic bleak. From this I went back into the camera raw filter and adjusted the image to suit to the desired effect. Then I sharpened the image holding alt so that I could see what was being sharpened. After that I used the radio filter to emphasise the eyes slightly. I love the radio filter for emphasising your lighting areas within your image and sometimes I even turn off the marquee for the filter so that I can see the effect as it's happening. Next, to emphasise the weave, I used, I used the brush tool uh, with sharpness and clarity and painted over the areas of the image that I needed. It just helped bring out a wee bit of the image for me as I was doing this. Once I was happy with this, I clicked OK. To add the foreground particles, I brought in particles layer with the blend mode set to overlay. I added the reveal all mask and brushed out some of the particles to get the desired effect. After that, I added a brightness and contrast adjustment layer again to get the desired effect. Again, to emphasise the particle, foreground particles, I added another brush layer with the downloaded particle brush and dropped the opacity back until I was happy using the free transform tool again to achieve the size that I was after. Finally I added a couple of more adjustment layers, one being another LUT and one being a brightness and contrast layer to finish it off. Hopefully you get something from that tutorial and hopefully it's maybe even inspired a couple of ideas. If you've liked this one and you want to see more, please hit subscribe below 
and hit the like button because that really helps as well. And I'll see you the next time. Thanks again for watching.